Hello there, a benefice notice. On Monday evening, just gone, uh, the Bishop of Basingstoke, Bishop David, uh, the Archdeacon, Richard Brand, and the Area Dean, that's Alton Area Dean, Brian Pritchard, held a meeting to which I, along with uh, other clergy in the deanery and all members of all the PCCs in Alton Deanery were invited. The purpose of this meeting was to headline changes being, propo being proposed to the pastoral boundaries within our deaneries. The Winchester Diocese is responding to an ongoing financial situation, which has been exacerbated by the COVID pandemic. Budget cuts have been made to the diocese's central office provision. There is sale of property taking place, and there's to be a reduction in stipendiary, which means paid, clergy. So these reductions are being made in every deanery with a needed loss of 22 posts. In the Alton Deanery, we're going to lose two paid posts to retirement, that of uh, Reverend Ed Pruin and Reverend Tony Pears. Ed retired last January and Tony is due to retire in October. And therefore, each parish and benefice in the deanery is to be reorganised. Now currently, we are one benefice with three parishes, Bentley, Binstead and Froyle. And it's proposed that the parishes of Kingsley and East Weldon join our benefice. The diocese proposes that this, like the other reorganisations within the deanery, will result in us becoming a new single parish with one PCC. Now the Benbinfro PCCs are due to meet again with the Bishop and the Archdeacon on Wednesday the 31st of March to discuss the diocese uh, proposals. So if you would like to make a comment uh, or you have a question uh, that you would like considered at this meeting, We'd be really grateful if you could please send an email to the Benefice Office titled Parish Reorganisation. And what we'll then do is obviously collate all the comments that we receive and any questions that we have, and we can bring them forward to that meeting. Now, as the consultation process continues, because we're just at an informal stage at this, at this moment, uh, we do, of course, promise to keep everyone informed of what's going on. And I hope that you understand that this really needs to be undertaken with a deep commitment to prayer and under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. It also needs a missional approach and not to be seen simply as an administrative or financial, or financial process. So please, would you hold our PCCs and our ministry team in your prayers at this time? Although these changes will be challenging on many fronts, they also provide an opportunity to explore how we can best support one another and how we can continue carrying out God's mission amongst our communities. Thank you.